So number 10 then for 5 marks, obtain the exact value of this integral. There you go, a wee whittle away, a wee integration by parts. Now it's always a pest when it's a definite integral to evaluate it because of all your brackets everywhere, so I'm not putting that down. I'm just going to use that other technique that I'll just put down in a minute. Well, the first thing I've got to decide is, what's my plan? It's whittle this one away. So I'll differentiate that and integrate that. So integration, I'll integrate first, so that one waits while that goes back to where it was, but divide by, so times a quarter, minus the integral, notice I'm not putting any limits in here, of now differentiate 2x, but carry that one forward. There's my first line, but I know I'm going to integrate it, but I'm going to do that at the end, but I'm just going to show it with this sort of a much commoner notation afterwards, meaning the whole expression up to this is to yet to be evaluated. Because I'd rather tidy this up rather than do all the bits and pieces. So, that's just going to stay, that's probably fixed now. A quarter of x squared e to the 4x minus, I'll just tidy this up, that's a half of the integral of x e to the 4x dx. All to be evaluated from 0 to 2. Right, so this can just wait, e to the 4x, because there might be things that will tidy up, things that will cancel. Minus a half of, start again. Differentiate, integrate. I'm integrating, so I'll integrate first. That'll go to a quarter of e to the 4x. Minus, now differentiate that, that goes to 1. Carry this forward, that's a quarter e to the 4x. dx, all to be evaluated. So I've got a quarter of x squared e to the 4x, and that'll be minus an eighth of just x, but e to the 4x, see there's common factors kicking in now. And that'll be plus an eighth of the integral of e to the 4x dx, all to be evaluated. Just get this bit done, and we're almost done. So it's a quarter of x squared e to the 4x minus an eighth of x e to the 4x, and that'll be another e to the 4x, but divide by 4 makes that 1 upon 32, all to be evaluated. Right, what I'll do is I'll take out anything they've got in common. They've all got e to the 4x, and the worst of the denominators is 1 upon 32, so I'll take that out as well. And that would leave me with, in this case, that'll be an 8 to make the quarter, x squared minus a 4 to make the 32, x, and then that's just a plus 1. So it tidies up to this. That's what I'm going to evaluate. I'd rather work it out at the end than work out the numbers and carry it forward. Now, evaluate it. So what have I got? 1 upon 32 times, so that's inside, that'll be e to the 8, and that's 4, 32, minus 8, plus 1, minus, now when x is 0, that's a, uh, sorry, that's e to the 0, which is just a 1, I'll just put e to the 0, times, that's just a nothing, that's a nothing, that's a 1, so altogether you've got 1 upon 32 times, that's 25, but that's just 1. 25 e to the 8 minus 1 would be the exact answer. Or, if you took it as a decimal, 2328.84 and so on. But I like that.